Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Red. It's New Comic Weekend in my hands, this is one of those releases. It's Dark Red number 7 from Aftershock Comics. It's by writer Tim Seeley, uh, art by Corin Howell, who's also a co-creator. Mark Englert is the colorist, Carlos M. Mangual is the letterer, Megan Hetrick is the cover artist, uh, and then Marshall Dillon is the logo designer. Alright, so I read the first two issues of Dark Red and generally enjoyed them. Didn't quite blow me away. Not enough for me to keep on reading the series. So I haven't read 3, 4, 5, or 6. Decided to go drop into issue number 7 after Shock sent me the review copy. So I wanted to go and, uh, and, and review that. So, um, so the story in general, as it was pitched, was the idea of a vampire story in MAGA country. This, this concept of uh, you know vampire story in, in kind of heart of America... Um, area where a lot of comic stories don't generally cover. Thought it was a really interesting co concept. I mean, horror stories at times have political undertones to them. I thought it could be, you know, uh, you know, Night of the Living Dead is, is a great example of that. George Romero did a fantastic job of doing that sort of blend of horror and, and political commentary or social commentary. So I was thinking Dark Red might be that. Didn't quite scratch that itch enough for me. So I, I put it to the wait side. Came back to issue seven. Uh, one, so obviously I missed a bunch of issues. I was generally able to pick up what was going on in this. It took most of the issue for me to finally really figure all that out and kind of put things uh, together. But I was able to kind of, I was able to hop in on, on Dark Red number seven and uh, not have too many issues reading it, having not read like majority of the series. So that's really, really good. Uh, and it was enough of an intriguing issue, a different kind of a fascinating thing that makes me want to go and possibly uh, read what came out previously when I get some trades or continue. Um, I think it's, uh, it actually does a good job continuing everything and, and keeping entertaining that wise, uh, that way. And, um, and that way I got to give it props. Like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's an entertaining enough issue. There's some solid humor to it. Uh, it does some interesting things with vampires, um, things that I seem new to me. I don't know if they are necessarily new in the genre, but at least different enough in the genre that I, I it stood out. Um, the art is good. Like there's there's some good humor to it. Um, the it, it definitely just has fun with the characters. Um, like I don't know quite how to describe it. There's like a were cat thing. Um, he's a vampire here, uh, hunter familiar. Um, it's all it's all good. Like there's. It's a different style. Um, I can't really think of what else this kind of like reminds me of, but uh, it's uh, it's entertaining. Like I want to go and of course I'll read Dark Red number six when or number sorry number eight when it comes out uh, and continue on with the series. Uh, but overall, like so far so good. Like easy to read. Was able to pick it up fairly well. Entertaining. If you're into vampire series, like if you like True Blood, I think you probably would dig this. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think you'll probably like it. Uh, you should check it out. It's on Comic Shops now. Uh, you can go get it. And there is a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll, it'll tell you if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We have affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that by doing that. You help support our site, though, so thanks very much. And speaking of support, you really should go support Comic Shops, and I will, of course, want to thank. Aftershock Comics for hooking us up with this review copy. We always appreciate it and thank you for watching. Now, if you are into comics, if you're into Aftershock Comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos. Or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.